Only people at Avanti have given me the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And without further ado, there it is. It is a 650 parallel twin outputting a 47 horsepower in a parallel twin configuration. It is excellent to ride. It, it doesn't vibrate as much as the Bullet 500 which some bullet aficionados might feel that they're taking away from the essence of Royal Enfield. This motorcycle is completely unique. It has brakes which are made by a company uh, which have a title Brembo. It's got a very comfortable seat. Seats too and twin exhausts one does like twin exhausts, especially when you've got a parallel twin engine. It has a fair amount of torque, however, it's not what you would expect from a twin cylinder motorcycle. The power delivery is smooth, it has no vibrations, and the riding position harkens back to the old RD350. Now, any one of you who's familiar with the RD350 will feel that this position is, it does take you back. It gives you that lovely feeling of an upright, comfortable position with plenty of power that you need for city riding. Air cool as well as oil cool up here. If you're asking me about cons for this bike, I would have preferred to have a second disc brake. But only one, the stopping power is limited. Ideally, inside the city, you would not require it. However, once you get out in the open road, this thing would do over 140 kilometers an hour. And you'd feel a little safer with the second front of this brake. The gauges are analog, you've got uh, your RPM gauge as well as uh, a decent enough, uh, well it's a small LCD screen, it gives you your trip meters and things. Royal Enfield's first foray into parallel twin machines and it is excellent.